Good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Hutch Johnson joining you with a look at what we are expecting with our next round of snow. Beginning this morning, heavy band of snow moving out of the mountains of Montana. And as we go through our Black Friday today, it will be passing from southwest North Dakota into eastern South Dakota. And it really, really blossoms as we head into portions of uh, the states of southern Minnesota and Iowa, as well as parts of extreme eastern Nebraska. Our buyer details are coming up right now. But first, my friends at Robert Gibbonsons want to offer you a free water heater with the purchase of a Bryant HVAC system. Call them today for details. Best installers serving our community for over 110 years. Please give them a call and let them know that Hutch sent you. Now let's take a look at this high-resolution forecast detail on the storm that will be working its way out of the Rocky Mountains as we go into our morning this morning. So out already this morning out to the west, there'll be a decent chance of some snow showers pushing in from northeast Montana. We're talking about Glasgow right into Glendive. This is 6 a.m. and making its way down into south uh, central parts of South Dakota. Nothing overly heavy, but the wind starts picking up. These winds will be from the south. So this is kind of a warm front, some lift going on along the leading edge of the warmer air and some colder air that's stuck in our neck of the woods. That little band makes its way through the region and it will bring a dose of some measurable snow to the area, but it's not the entire system. Here we go, low pressure moving out of the Rockies, a band of heavy snow setting up in parts of Wyoming and South Dakota. And this makes its way through as we go into Saturday morning. So uh, some areas will see a pretty prolonged period of chances of light to moderate snow with the main system working its way into parts of eastern South Dakota right into your mid-morning on Saturday and boom here we go this puppy picks up strength southern Minnesota I-90 corridor Rochester and the 35 corridor there and down into parts of Iowa where they could get slammed with significant snowfall from this system we'll still see a chance of some snow showers into Saturday throughout southern and central Minnesota but you can see most of the northern valley and the central valley out of the big event here we may see some light flakes but by and large this definitely looks to be a position a storm system out to the west and south so for today snow in the store uh in the morning hours and some patchy fog light winds and cold temperatures here in the valley i got three for fargo and nine for grand forks as you're heading out the door some deep snow areas could be near or just below zero then as we head into our afternoon expect temperatures in the mid 20s snow spreading eastward and intensifying out in the black hills seven day planner with the snowfall forecast coming up here in a minute keeping us in the 20s in Fargo and Grand Forks as we go through Saturday and then Shazam it gets cold as we head towards the first of the month and the beginning of meteorological winter four below on Monday with the exit of that system no more big storm systems targeting our area as we go into the forecast for next week but we do have some ups and downs in our temperatures including some uh, afternoon rising temperatures into the overnight and then nighttime rising temperatures into the next morning. It looks pretty wild, but cold below average for the entirety. Now look at the forecast. If you're traveling as you go through Black Friday and into Saturday uh, in our region, out west and down south, particularly towards the Twin Cities and Point South, southern Minnesota, I-29 down towards Sioux Falls and Omaha, big time snow will be in that track and there are winter storm warnings as well in place for parts of south dakota and montana so travelers to the west are going to run into a heavier band this is model averages now the forecast checks out like this storm system having a narrower band of the heavy snow making its way from near glendive in the i-94 corridor in eastern montana right into central and northern south dakota where that warning is in place pockets of heavy snow three to six inches a few areas will get a little bit more than that a quick drop off as you saw in the hour by hour forecast there with Fargo picking up maybe a tenth or two tenths of an inch of snow but we'll keep you posted that is this is basically the snowfall by the time we get to our night tonight so that's round one and then as that main system conjures up a little bit more energy and moisture in the atmosphere we'll top that snow with a little bit more an expansion of the air and this is the total snow for Friday and Saturday by the way lake effect snow up at the uh, rainy lake area lake of the woods area hey maybe even near the big Bemidji lake Lake, uh, Red Lakes area rather, I'm sorry, and lake effect snow off of the south shores there of the Big Lake Superior. Uh, three to six inches plus southern Minnesota and down into Iowa, even worse than that. So pockets of heavy snow on the I-29 corridor. If you are traveling I-29 south on Saturday, it looks rough and tumble out there. So keep that in mind and keep that forecast handy. I'll keep you updated right here. And as always, anytime on HutchinsWeather.com, you can get the very latest right here. Thanks for watching and we'll keep you up to date right here on Hutch's Weather.